Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I want to make something with a laser cutter. So let's get cracking. All right, friends. First things first, we are in Tinkercad. We're going to hit create new design. Now, friends, I want to make a Christmas tree out of cardboard. I'm going to call it tree, and I'm going to call it card. Friends, we're going to build this tree with a roof. When you bring out the roof, we need to look at it from a corner and we need to stand it up. When you grab these little arrows, if you stay inside that blue circle, it snaps easily to the 90 degrees. Once you've got it there, you can hit D to drop. We're going to grab it, hold shift, and we're going to stretch one of the corners until it says 100 across. That means our tree is going to be 10 centimeters at the bottom. We're going to make this out of cardboard, so we're going to type 4 millimeters for how thick it is. That is how my cardboard works. All right, friends, this next part is what makes this amazing, but it's also a little tricky. I'm going to have you do a duplicate and nudge, which means once you start that, it'll record the nudges, and then when we do Control D again, it'll save, but you can't click the mouse in between. So, friends, it works like this. Control D. I'm going to do Shift Nudge three clicks. Shift is what we call a super nudge. Once again, I'm not doing anything with the mouse but touching these buttons. I'm going to hold down Alt and Shift, so this way it goes around the middle. And we're going to shrink it, and we're going to type 80 and press Enter. So we just went from 100 to 80, and it recorded it. Notice I have not touched the mouse. If I do Control D again and again, we have just made an awesome Christmas tree, and we're almost ready to cut it out. What we have to do, though, is make the height size 4 on all these. So I'm going to just quickly click them and change them. What it did was it scaled all the dimensions, and really we only wanted to scale X and Y, not Z. Now that we've got the tree built, we are going to group that piece. You want to make sure it is a seamless design just like this. And then, friends, to get it ready for the laser cutter, we're going to do two things. First, see how it is 111? That means we're going to make this 55 long because that'll be almost 111. So I'm going to actually type 56 for the length of that. I'm doing this out of cardboard, so I want it 4 millimeters thick. I'm going to do select, align, and I want it middle, and I want it bottom. And then I'm going to do control D because I'm going to have two of these. And the second one, I'm going to align to the top. Just like that friends we have just created two parts that when we group them they will slide into each other and we will have an awesome christmas tree so that this is easier to cut i'm going to mirror it so that way it'll line up better on my laser cutter to use the material more efficiently i'm now going to grab the design and we're going to hit export we need to use an svg and then i'm going to store it in my 3d modeling folder i'm going to call it tree card and that means cardboard not like a card we send and bam let's export it take it to the laser cutter and see just how it turns out all right everybody we're at my home shop and i'm using the orter laser master pro 2 friends if you have not seen this i will have a link below it is a real bargain friends and i'm having a blast having a laser at home so i can prototype projects before i actually take them to school of course if you're one of my students we'll be using the laser cutters at school instead of the laser master pro 2. so friends let's get it set up for cutting all right friends so as you can see we have launched light burn i'm gonna power on the laser there is mine on COM port 3 and then friends we are going to use the import button to find our project I have got a quick access that I can quickly hit called 3d modeling if you're a student in my classroom of course we will be looking for the STL folder once you hit import your project comes in we need to pick the correct settings I'm going to use settings number 26 if we go back to cuts and layers you can see that that's set for 2200 and 100% power. That is what I'm using right now for cardboard, and it does five passes. If you're in my classroom, you use green number three for cutting. On the OMT laser, if you're using the Glowforge, we'll use what's called cardboard two. All right, I've got my cardboard dropped in there. Let's move over. Remember, if we hold shift nudge, it goes 10 times as far, and we need to make sure we've got this at the right height. I'm gonna do shift nudge to move this forward one click. Notice it is bumping into the cardboard. So I'm gonna take my alignment piece 
and I'm gonna put it underneath I'm gonna loosen this and I'm gonna get that so it's just above it and now let me hit frame and see if this is gonna be the way we want so I am gonna use from this corner position uh, for the circles I showed you last week we did it from the center when I hit frame it is not touching my piece of cardboard and that is gonna fit fantastic for our project I'm gonna put on my goggles notice we always have these close and friends it's time to hit that awesome start button and see what we make Alrighty friends, so let's see what we made. I'm gonna nudge this out of the way really quick with the move. Let's do a couple shift nudge to get it up past the cardboard. And friends, we have got a tree that we can simply punch out and assemble. got one little corner that's hung up here and I got something fighting with me I'm gonna cut this with an exacto knife really quick to wrap it up all right friends I am back in my lab I'm gonna finish cutting this out I've got a little exacto knife a couple issues out in my shop uh, the tabletop I'm using out there is an old door it is not flat so I think that's why I'm getting the variations in my cutting one of my projects coming up is to add a piece of wood on there so I have actually got a super flat surface for the laser cutter to function on alrighty friends after a little bit of trimming we have got this popping out if I was in my classroom and it wasn't cold we would simply change the settings and recut I also believe that once I've got a more level build surface it won't matter anymore so friends let's slide it together and see what we built Just like that, awesome, fun Christmas tree. Friends, I'm super excited about how easy this design is for students to create. It has several cool skills like duplicate and nudge. Friends, I think this is gonna open the door for students to start creating amazing designs using four millimeter thick cardboard and the four millimeter groove technique I just shared with you. Friends, of course, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button, and last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.